of Daniel Craig returning as Bond, and a new behind-the-scenes look at Spectre has been released. The video features interviews from stars Dave Bautista, Leah Seydoux, and the production crew while shooting a major and difficult action sequence in the Austrian Alps. Production designer Dennis Gassner said, The thing Sam Mendes and I talked about was how we are going to top Skyfall, and so far it's a good start. We are going to continue the history of the Bond films, making things that are exciting for the audience to look at, and what could be more more exciting than to be on top of the world. John, what are your thoughts on these comments and new materials released for Spectre? I loved what I saw this morning. Because number one, you, you, you know they're dead serious about what they're doing when they will travel like that. They go to these, it's always these great films that pick the most remote places to go and shoot. And the shots they were setting up looked awesome. And what really got me excited, it might have been the art director or one of the associate producers, but they said, so me and Sam were talking, the director of the film. and. Uh, it's nice to know they aren't targeting to make a good film. Their target is to exceed uh, Quantum of Solace. Uh, not Quantum of Solace. Skyfall. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Please exceed Quantum <laughs> of Solace. <laughs> Please exceed that. Um, they want to exceed Skyfall. That's where they're aiming. Um, and that was just so exciting. The scenery was beautiful. You had all the guys up there. The way they're shooting it. Uh, it did nothing but really hype my anticipation for this movie. I'm excited about it. Amy, Amy Rose, what do you think? I'm so excited as well. I'm so glad the team is back. Sam Mendes, I mean, that's one of my favorite Bond films. And I just, Daniel Craig, and then Leo Sado as a Bond girl, she's just so fantastic. Um, in a couple other roles, but Blue's the warmest color. I was just like, oh, she is a star. Yeah. Um, so I'm really excited. And it's just this franchise. It's just, it keeps going and going and getting better. And it's just absolutely beautiful just hearing, you know, the team saying we were scouting for the most exciting location and what a fun job that would be. I always thought being a travel scout, you know, location, blah, 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 would be such a fun, fun job. So I'm so excited for this and uh, the stakes have been raised. I can't wait. I can't wait. This movie looks super exciting, and for the and just hearing, as far as the comments go, hearing Sam Mendes' name again because at some point it was rumored that he, he wasn't, wasn't going to come be back. There. And now well, he that said it wasn't just rumor. He said, you know, I'm not right, going to be not there. Gonna come back. What was and he doing? He had some kind of stage play. He was doing. He was doing a London stage play. AKA negotiations, I guess. Right. <laughs> uh, so, but and, and that's fine. And I'm glad that, that that everybody said, you know what, we need Sam Mendes. He's got a lock in this franchise. And you watch this video, he's got a lock in the franchise. And mm. it was cool seeing Batista in there, like the fact that he's going to be part of that scene. That an intense scene, and he's the—he's one of the villains. You're gonna see him there, and then that shot at the end. Oh. Bond steps out with the gun. You're like, okay, there he is, and he's a part of this. Also, you, you, the more and more, it's funny because when we did our most anticipated videos, uh, movies that are coming out, it wasn't on my list, and it's not because I don't want to see Bond. I've. For me, I always love Bond when I watch it, but I, I'm just not the, the biggest Bond guy maybe at the table. But if I could do it over again, I'd probably put it in there because this movie looks is going to be something okay. special. Yeah, Spectre is in my top ten most anticipated of this year. After seeing this clip, though, my first thought was, I'm so glad I don't make movies. I'm so <laughs> glad I just talk about them. They are making such an effort to please us as an audience. They're at the top of the world. It's freezing. Literally. You get a giant like Batista just brought to his knees by how cold it is. <laughs> yeah. It just looks awful to be there. But they're making this movie, and that action scene just screamed Bond to me. And you're right, Christian, at the end, when you see Daniel Craig just pull that gun, it's such an iconic way that he moves around as James Bond. He has solidified himself as this yeah. character. This could be the best Bond that he's in, and it might be the best Bond of all time. So stylish. Let me throw this out to you guys, and I'd love to know what you th your thoughts on this are. You know, I, I liked Pierce Brosnan as Bond. He was a certain kind of Bond. He mm -hmm. was more of the Roger Moore vein of James mm -hmm. Bond. He had a couple of really good ones. But as good as he was, and as big of a fan I was of his, I never felt like he became Bond to the audience. I felt like when in his era as James Bond, when people thought of James Bond, they still thought of Roger Moore, Sean Connery. But... I feel like now we are in, and I'm a little biased because I'm a big fan of his, but I'm a little bit in uh, belief now that when the average person now thinks of James Bond, they think of Daniel Craig. I think he has become Bond at this point. Like, am I over-exaggerating? Well, we always no. talk about the two sides that Bond you know, represents, the womanizing, smooth devil side, and then the action star. And some of those were stronger than the other. Pierce Bronson was stronger in the womanizing direction. I didn't believe him as much as an action star, but Daniel Craig nails both. Sean Connery's still my number one, but Daniel Craig is my number two now. Yeah, I think there's a lot of reasons why. I agree with you, but I think that, first of all, we get to see, we're, we're seeing the origin and the evolution of Bond through Daniel Craig. Mm, like, for, good so, point. so when yep. you see it as it starts out, you're more and more associating with 
him because you're learning more and more about his backstory, which you didn't get a lot from the other, mm -hmm. from the other Bonds, some here and there. And the other thing is that with the case of Pierce Brosnan, Pierce Brosnan was a very recognizable face, star, name. People knew who he was, for sure. So it's always hard to go back and forth. You probably say, yeah, that's Bond, but it's also Pierce Brosnan. Daniel Craig wasn't that known. So when he, because there was a backlash. That guy, that guy it's is a huge Bond. backlash. Yeah. So he's able, because he delivered so well, now I think that's why we associate him more as but, James Bond. But also with, with Pierce Brosnan, it's like those films just got worse and worse and worse, too. <laughs> and I think that Pierce Brosnan read each script and he's like, you know what, Remington Steele's going to be in this one because I'm not doing this as James Bond. This is embarrassing. Whereas Daniel Craig, you're right, not only the films are all pretty good and Skyfall was a lot better than Quan was Solace, but you feel like every time this guy's on screen in another Bond film, he becomes more that character of James Bond, the womanizer and the guy who's a pretty sweet spy. You know, I, I will say this about the Brosnan Bonds, though, as it got worse and worse and worse. One of the worst ones, Still, to me, had the all-time greatest line in any Bond film. Denise Richards is a scientist. Yes! <laughs> That's the one. The movie's over. James Bond is laying in bed with Denise Richards, whose name is Dr. Christmas. He's laying in bed, and they're overlooking really some. It's the water, and it's the final shot of the movie. And Bond looks at her and goes, and I thought Christmas only came once a year. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.